The WFEA Morning Update with Jeff Chittister. Ah, welcome back to the Morning Update. Of course, 99.9 AM 1370 WFEA. Very special guest, of course, uh, running for governor right now, but you also know her as a former U.S. senator and a former attorney general here in New Hampshire, but also an awesome fan of veterans, so it's always great when we see her out and about. Um, she loves her veterans, so I'm Amen right there with that. her. Uh, of course, that. I'm talking about Kelly Ayotte. Kelly, how are you this morning? I'm doing great, Jeff. How are you? And I got to see you Saturday night at Boots and Buckles for Veterans Count. And of course, Jeff was the MC and did an <laughs> awesome job. It was a great event. Raised a lot of money for our veterans in New Hampshire. It was fun, and, and it, was, it was fun to see how everybody interacts. A lot of people didn't know you were running for government. A lot of people didn't know you. And which surprised me, but it's kind of nice how how you get that opportunity to get to talk to people. Uh, what would you think of yeah. Marty? Wasn't he a great? Didn't he do a good great job? Oh my gosh, so powerful! That did, was amazing. Did you get a copy of the book? Uh, actually, I'm going to borrow the book from Sheriff <laughs> Connolly. He oh, got the book excellent. at our table, and so I look forward to reading it after well, him. Um, and of course, his son is in the Coast Guard. Yes, and my daughter's in Air Force, so we always commiserate about that. Oh, uh, we're going to commiserate a little bit more about that in a minute. Hey, I don't know if you had a chance to see this report that came out at New Hampshire Journal. Uh, New Hampshire is New England's number one in post-COVID job recovery. And of course, this was court, according to the Bureau of Labor T- Statistics. The data shows that New Hampshire did so much better than the other states. So as a governor, when you think about hearing that kind of statistics, what what do you generally think about, uh, about how one, um, the experience of dealing with COVID and then also coming in as governor, some of the things that you might want to co- go ahead and amplify? Yeah, what, what it says to me is that our model is the right model. If you look at our other the states surrounding us, and I always pick on Massachusetts, but they deserve being picked on. Of course they do. Because, you know, we don't have an income tax, no sales tax, low business taxes. You know, the attitude in New Hampshire is more about freedom for small businesses that create jobs. And to me, that is the foundation that makes the difference for New Hampshire. And we're the only state growing in population in New England, Jeff. It's not an accident because people are leaving these high tax, less freedom states and coming to our state. Uh, So that model is let's continue that model. Let's strengthen the model. And I want to make our government even more transparent and better, just even for how average people interact with their state government. So I think we can be even more business friendly, but we're on the right path. And, uh, you know, obviously the numbers show it. And we see that also on our ranking on freedom, on taxpayer return. You know, we're number one for children. Like, go through each ranking. Well, and once again, we're talking to Kelly Ayotte. Uh, once again, this is the morning update, 99.9 AM 1370 WFEA. I, I'm glad you said that. You know, one of the things, though, Kelly, you know, you're getting in a lot, <laughs> somewhat hot water with your slogan, you know, don't mass up New Hampshire. But you have, you have personal experience. You, Your husband is a small business owner. He's got right. to get up every day and lead the process and employ people and look at those mechanisms that either help him prosper or not. So there's that personal attachment that, that some candidates yeah. don't have. We've- no, it's true. Like, so Joe actually uh, had a business for 15 years. He sold it a few years yes. ago, but now he's teaching middle school math, which we can have a whole discussion about that too. <laughs> but I will tell you that that experience, because our small business owners, they put their, listen, we maxed our credit cards out, personal loans, all that to start that business. And, you know, worked so hard every day, cared, care about your employees, put people to work, go out there and do it. That's the foundation of the hard work in New Hampshire and the, the good jobs and what's happening. Uh, but if you put, I remember every time something would come, especially from Washington, uh, to put another, you know, post another poster or do this, do that, <laughs> like do another regulation, oh, yeah. file this paperwork. Like when you're a small business, like you don't have an army to do that. Like this is not a bureaucracy. You're like, you own the small business and you've got your workforce. You want to go out and uh, serve your customers, not file paperwork or do things that Washington or Concord asked you to do. So we saw it directly. Well, and it's, and it's you know, it's once again, it's, it's the hurdle race, right? We put these hurdles up and, and we can get over a few of them. And after a while, it just builds up and it, it just wears down small it business. It does. But you know what the problem is, Jeff? What? The problem is that there's often people um, that are in these positions that th- that don't don't appreciate Somebody's got to do this, right? Yes. Like, oh, this sounds like a great idea. Not a great idea because some small business owner who is trying to make ends meet, trying to, you know, make sure that he can make payroll is can't doesn't have time for added paperwork, doesn't have time to jump through another hurdle. You want 
him or her to be out there, you know, helping create jobs, doing what right. they do best, and helping their employees and their customers. And once again, we're talking to Kelly Ada, of course, running for governor right now. The Morning Update, 99.9 AM 1370 WFEA. Hey, we just had Brandon Chase on from the Attorney General's office. He was talking about the lawsuit related to TikTok. Uh, this is certainly, if you are elected, uh, it will be still there when you come into it. Any general thoughts about that, especially from your past experience as an Attorney General? Yeah, I mean, listen, I think there's a lot of issues with, with TikTok. Um, you know, obviously... I realize that at the state government, this isn't something we want to use. We know that the Chinese are heavily involved, yes. I think, you know, with the ownership there in pushing content on TikTok. So I think TikTok needs to be held accountable. And I don't I don't want the, the Chinese uh, influencing uh, what material is, is pushed, especially to our kids. So I appreciate what the attorney general is doing uh, because there needs to be some accountability there. And, you know, I know that the governor's certainly not allowing TikTok or anyone in state government to, right. to use that. That's that's totally inappropriate. Um, and, you know, this is an important national discussion. I get that a lot of young people use TikTok. I understand that. But we should be worried about that Chinese ownership piece. Oh, absolutely. And, and as someone who's come from the tech industry, I can tell you that, you know, sitting in rooms trying to figure out how we keep clients on a software device, there's a, an addictive nature in the component that's quite frightening. Hey, I yeah, asked I, agree. I, there, I asked people, you know, what kind of questions they wanted me to ask you. And, and one person gave me a question that I thought was really good, and I wanted to ask you this, is that we sure. are in a, in a very divisive environment right now politically. Uh, everyone's yelling and screaming at each other. It's unfortunate. Um, and as governor, if you are elected as governor, what will you do to help unify those people with differences? And I know that sounds like a, a wishy soft question, but it's not. It, it's it become very critical, our inability to communicate, because we always seem to be yelling at each other. Well, you know, Jeff, you're, you know, you're, I believe your job is, as governor, you, you represent the whole state, mm-hmm. including the people that didn't vote for you, okay? So you have to bring people together around tough problems. And I'm running, listen, I I don't want to run for Washington again. Like, oh. I've been there, done that. <laughs> don't go and there. I got to tell you, <laughs> a lot of divisiveness down there, a lot of people just liking to hear themselves talk. I'm running for governor because I want to get things done for the people of New Hampshire. That means bringing people together to make sure that our state remains safe, prosperous, strong. Uh, and that is that, to me, is uh, really not about, like, it, it's not about sort of the, a talking point mm-hmm. or... Uh, you know, inciting people. This is about like, okay, we got a great state. How can we be an even better state? How can we all work together to make that done? And I think as governor, that's that's the tone I have to set, and it should be a positive tone. Um, and I look forward to, we got a lot of things to be positive about in this sure. state. So let's focus on that, and then also focus on our challenges. Listen, we can meet our challenges, but we're going to roll up our sleeves and get it done uh, it's not about, you know, having a war on Twitter. I mean, that's useless. <laughs> that does not put any food on anyone's table. Nope. It doesn't reduce anyone's housing prices. It doesn't reduce your energy costs. Like, uh, so I'm just not interested in it. Once again, we're talking to Kelly AI. We're almost at the uh, time of a break. Of course, this is the morning update, uh, 99.9 9 AM 1370 WFEA. So I'm not going to let you go. I do this to candidates all the time. I think you might remember this when you're running for different offices. I do like to ask trivia questions to remember that these candidates certainly have policies, but they're people. Trivia questions. Trivia Uh-oh. questions. No, and, and so this one could really be dangerous for you in your household, okay? Because I know that your husband is a former A-10 pilot. As an Army guy, we love A-10 oh, pilots. No. We love them. But I'm going to also remind people is that your daughter is a cadet at the Air Force Academy, which is monumentally successful. Uh, I'm not going to talk about her, but I'm going to ask you trivia questions about the Air Force Academy, and we will send this audio to your family if you embarrass oh, them. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Like- you ready? I am glad that my daughter's not listening right now. I could be in trouble uh, with this. Okay, so okay, he, go. here's the first question. The Air Force Academy has a football team. What is their mascot? Oh, it's the Falcon. Okay, it's the Falcon. okay no. I, what kind of Falcon? Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, now you got me because... Uh, it's a big one, too. I should, the, the thing is, is that at the Air Force, we actually... We actually have there's falcons. Falcons that the, the cadets actually train. It's a big deal. The falcons themselves fly into the field. So, 
Um, oh, oh boy, you got so me there. I'm I not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell the it's... listeners either. So you have to find out what it is. Okay, so you ready for the next trivia question? Yes. Okay, so you got Falcon, the current mascot of Falcon. What is the Falcon's name? What is the Falcon's name? Yeah, he has a name. Or oh, she. I don't know. I don't, I, I, I don't want to mention it. I really don't know. But I will tell you, like, <laughs> hmm, I don't think they named him after Lance Sijin, who is, no. of course, a, we have a, one of the most prominent dorms on campus and the most, uh, and such a, a hero from Vietnam. So, no, I don't know what the name of the Falcon <sighs> is. That, you Kelly, got me there. Uh, I'm so embarrassed. You know, um, I'm, I, when I see your daughter, I'm going to tell you, it, the Falcon's name is Nova. 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 Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, but okay, we won't tell her, but you can surprise her. How's Nova doing? And see if she remembers. I will. She'll be really impressed with that. Uh, well, thanks. Thanks for playing along, and uh, great, uh, great questions. We can't wait to have you back on again. Uh, you know, and uh, yes, I'm going to have to like definitely research my trivia before I come back on. I'm well, on I had another question. You, I, I know you're you're pressed, and we're pressed for time too, so we're going to let you go. But the other question I had was actually really good about the the academy that I didn't know about. So I'll save that for next time. Um, All right, I love it. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Enjoy uh, joint campaigning, and uh, once again, thanks a lot for coming we'll on. See you soon. Thanks, Jeff. Look Ac- forward to being back on. Take uh, care. Awesome. The morning update. Of course, we'll take a break. 99.9 and AM 13. 1970 WFEA. Go Army, beat Navy, and Air Force. <laughs> what about the Marines? Come on. Yeah. <laughs>